Hey there, Matt from Wetham Solutions here, and today we're going to talk about broken links and how to get rid of them. Now, a broken link is basically whenever you've gone on a website and you click on a hyperlink and it takes you to a page that's broken or that doesn't exist anymore. Another form of a broken link is when you go on a website and where there's supposed to be an image, there's just a big red X. And those you don't want on your site, and, and for obvious reasons, uh, your viewers can't see the actual content that you want to display on your site when they're there. And uh, the other thing is that search engines can see that your site has broken links, and uh, they don't like to see that on your site, so it, it shows that your site isn't well maintained. So you want to get rid of them as quick as possible whenever you know that they're there. So there's a really great program called Zenu Link Sleuth. And what it does is it automatically and sequentially uh, searches out all of the links that are on your website and then shows you the ones that are broken and shows you exactly where on your web page that they are so that you can find them and then get rid of them. So what we're going to show you how to do is download Zenu Link Sleuth as well as use it to find the broken links on your website. So let's take a look. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your web browser and then go to www.download.com. And so from download.com, you'll see on the left-hand sidebar that there's a find software search tool. So put your cursor in there and then type in Zenu and hit enter and it will do a search for Zenu. And uh, you'll only find one, so go ahead and click on the title. Don't click on the download now link because that uses the CNET installer, which is a, an unnecessary program uh, for downloading software. So just go ahead and click on the title. And then what you want to do is look for the direct download link, which is right underneath the main download button. And the reason that you want the direct download link is so that you don't have to use the CNET installer and uh, which just bogs down your computer with one more thing that you don't really need. So click on the direct download link and what will happen is it will download the zip file here. And so as you can see in my downloads bar in the bottom and depending on if you're using Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer it may look a little bit different. I'm using Chrome for this example. So basically what you want to do is show it in folder somehow so that you can see where it is and so this is the zip file that it comes with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to open with Windows Explorer and then I'm going to copy the setup.exe over to my desktop here and then I'm going to minimize and I'm going to view the setup.exe on my desktop and I'm going to double click on it to run the program so I'm going to install it here and basically I'm just going to keep clicking next and continue. So agree of course to the terms of the agreement which you'll have to read and ensure that uh, you do agree with before installing. So click I agree, next, next again and install. And then once it's completed, um, then what you can do is click next and finish and it's going to run Zenu here. So I'm going to uncheck the show readme because that's what the video is here to, to do. So now that I've opened up Zenu, I get the first tips and tricks which are really valuable if you if you keep you know reading the next tips and it'll kind of explain some things about links and how the, the link sleuth works. So I'm going to click close and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my website by clicking on this check URL icon. And so in order to do that, I'm going to just type in my website address, www.wethamsolutions.com. And then I'm just going to click OK. And now what the program starts doing is it starts sequentially checking every single link that you have on your website. Now links aren't just links to pages, but links are also considered links to image files or backend uh, cascading style sheet files or JavaScript files, things that you might not actually see or ever know that are even there, but a search engine can see if it's there and, and a browser can see if it's there, uh, or the link that I, I should say that's there, but if it's a broken link, meaning that the actual JavaScript or image file is not there, the similarly to the way a page would not be there, it's going to find each one of these. So what you can do is you can monitor the progress of it right down here on the bottom and you can see that the, the number of URLs will continue to grow because as it discovers new pages on your site, it's scanning those pages simultaneously and finding new links. So it'll continue to, to grow and at a certain point it'll, it'll finally reach everything that's on your site. And so what you can then do is uh, wait for it to finish and then what I like to do is I like to click on the status um, header here because then it'll sort all of the ones 
that are uh, bad or that have some kind of an error with them, whether it's completely broken or whether it's just forbidden for some other reason, it'll bring those to the top. So if I click on status here, you can see that the only thing that I've got is busy because there's no broken links on this site right now. Now finally, once it's finished, it'll ask you if you want to report. Now the one thing about this program is for some reason it doesn't always catch the links the first time around and I'm not sure why. So right now I'm going to click no and I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on the status here so that I can bring all of the, the links that are, that are of a, a, a bad nature, whether they're completely you know gone altogether or whatever it may be. And you can see that all of the ones that are in red are problematic. Now, I know for a fact that all of these websites are in fact good links and for some reason the first time around this program doesn't catch that. So what I'm going to do before I continue is I'm going to press control and R and that's going to retry the URLs to make sure that they're in fact still broken. And as you can see that there is, um, they are all fixed here. Now there's still a couple that, that are still in red status. I'm going to click no one more time to view the report. We're going to do that in just a second. But you can see that there's a couple here and I'm going to sort them by status again so that I can see all the bad ones at the top. There are a couple that are not, there, there's one that's not found, there's one that's for, or two that are forbidden request and a couple of other miscellaneous ones here. Basically, um, the ones that say not found or no such host, those are the ones that you want to take off of your site. So these here are the ones that I want to definitely remove. The problem is now I don't know where those links are coming from. So I'm going to do the control R one more time and then it's going to finish and when it does it's going to ask me if I want the report. This time I'm going to click yes. So I'm going to click yes and then it's going to ask me some FTP parameters here. Basically all you have to do is just click cancel and it'll bring it up right within your web browser. Now if you scroll down here you can see here are some of the broken links. Now this one isn't necessarily a broken link, the one from Google, and that's just because Google doesn't allow third-party programs like Xenu to check links on Google. But there are ones down here that I do want to get rid of such as this one here and this one here and now it tells me exactly which page I need to go to because that's the page that the link is on. So if I click on this link it will take me to the page that is linking to this link which is now no longer active and so then I know exactly where to go to remove that link. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Next week we're going to talk about what is Flash and should you use Flash on your website. If you like this video, please pass it on. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button up here or enter your email and you'll get an email notification every time we post a new video. Thanks again.